Hi guys, this is Matt from RC Depot, and today we're going to show you how to install the Phantom 2 retract kit on your Phantom 2. Uh, first step is going to be to remove the top half of the body. Make sure to unplug the GPS wire. You're going to take your EXP wire out of the top of the NASA. Out. Going to remove that. Take your X2 wire from the NASA and remove the X2 wire and remove it from the other side of the receiver as well. Next you're going to take your retract control module, take the wire labeled X2, plug it into the X2 of the NASA controller. Go ahead and take the adjacent wire and plug it into your receiver. Go ahead and reinsert your EXP wire back into the controller. The control module is in. This time you can take the stock landing gear. Go ahead and remove the four screws from the bottom here. And unplug your compass. Go ahead and unscrew the compass from the stock landing gear. Take your compass wire and pull it back inside the phantom shell. Now go ahead and take your stock landing gear and use the stock landing gear screws to attach them to the retracts. Go ahead and pull the compass wire through the phantom shell. You have to cut some holes on the side here, open the vent up here. We're going to use this to run the compass wire through. So go ahead and take your compass wire, run it all the way through the phantom shell here. Just like that. Okay, go ahead and grab your retracts. Make sure to note they are labeled left and right. Right side is the compass side. I'm going to go ahead and take the compass off the stock landing gear here. Remove the stock screws and use the new supplied screws in the retract kit. It's very important to note that once you mount this, you want to keep the same orientation so the wires are going to be down towards the body of the phantom on the inside of the retract kit. It's much easier to first plug the compass wire into the compass and then go ahead and attach it to the compass mount on the retract kit. And you want to use the new supplied screws in the retract kit when mounting to the new compass mount. And it's very, very important to note compass orientation. You want the wires down and the compass towards the inside of the phantom. To be sure you've done that, go ahead and mount your retract kit to the phantom. Again, using the supplied screws in the retract kit. 
run it through the metal and then through the carbon piece and thread it into the phantom body. should look something just like that. Go ahead and repeat the same step on the other side. Again, notating the left side. And again, using the supplied hardware, screw into the phantom body. Go ahead and run the servo lead from the retract through the same vent that we ran the compass wire through. And repeat on the other side here. Once the wire is through, go ahead and plug the servos into the retract controller. Again, making sure to note that they are labeled left and right. It's very important that you plug them into the corresponding port. So the servo is labeled left here, as you can see, as well as the control module is labeled left and right. Make sure to match those up. Plug those in. time you can install your phantom top making sure to plug the GPS wire back in talk all the wires in real nice but before we go ahead and screw it back together let's go ahead and plug a battery in and double check that it's working correctly turn your phantom on turn your radio on To control the retracts, you're going to use your course lock switch. You're going to flick it up and down three times to raise them and two times to lower them. Okay, and that's all today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to give us an email at sales at rcdepothobbies.com or check out our website, rcdepothobbies.com. Thank you.